10 News presents Democracy 2012. Your voice, your vote. With the general election just weeks away, 10 News and the EW Scripps Company are dedicated to providing the information that you need to make informed decisions. Tonight, we are speaking with George Plesha. He is running for the state Senate in the 39th district against State Assemblyman Marty Block. Thank you for coming and for your time. Thank you for having me. Um, it, it's really kind of widespread knowledge that Sacramento is broken right now. We've got the soaring be budget deficits and we've got cuts in education and services. But if voters were to send you to Sacramento, how would you work across the aisle for compromise with Democrats? Uh, well, I, I did serve three terms in the state assembly from 2002 to 2008, representing a bunch of the uh, the area of North City, and all the way up into Escondido. And I have a, a, a an extensive record of working bipartisanly. Um, take it back in 2006, I was the Republican leader at the time, and you needed two thirds vote to uh, get the budget done. We got it done on time. Uh, you need a two-thirds vote. We uh, negotiated all the infrastructure bonds that went on the ballot and campaigned bipartisanly in 2006 with 70% of the voters in California passing those. So I've got an extensive record on, on big ticket items working with both sides. Currently, what issues do you think you could work together with Republicans and Democrats right now and find some compromise to help us out? You know, everyone's focused in Sacramento. Uh, I don't know what, how they got distracted the last couple of years, but it's everything should have been about jobs, jobs, and more jobs. Um, California had 254 California-based businesses either totally leave or partially leave last year. It's unacceptable. Today we had another company announce a thousand other jobs or going to Oregon, Washington, and Colorado. That is not acceptable. Uh, that's the easiest way to solve our fiscal problems is to focus on these regulations and the taxes and send a message to the job creators. You're welcome here. We want you to bring jobs here. We want you to grow here and prosper. And then you got more people working and you have more income taxes coming in and it makes the budget a little bit easier to deal with. So what is your take on the governor's tax increase that will be voted on in November? And if it doesn't pass, what would you do to get things in line if you don't have the tax increase? Well, I don't support it. The main reason is because there's no reforms on the ballot. Um, they've rigged the election, I like to say. I would have wholeheartedly endorsed the governor's proposal last year to at least put it on the ballot, but you needed the pension reform that he wanted and you also needed the spending cap. Uh, so we don't get into these problems again. But right now they rig the election, only the tax increases are there, and there's no reforms to show the people and the voters that we're serious about tackling these issues. You know, you got to make tough decisions. Once again, job creation should be the focus. You have more income tax revenue coming in when you have more people working. And then you also, you just, the, that is the biggest focus. And then we're also going to have to look at streamlining and waste in government. Um, you're going to have to cut back on probably some social programs. The governor wanted to go much further. Democrats didn't want to go along with it this year. They uh, spent more money on health and welfare and he wanted deeper cuts. So we're going to have to look at those. But uh, education and public safety need to be the priority, not the political pawns in these games that they always play. And it won't affect you this election, but it has been passed now. Same day voter registration. Mm -hmm. So while some support it, others think it, it makes fraud a little easier. What do you say going forward? Because right now it's law. Yeah, it's law and it's, it's, it's moving forward. Um, I just have great concerns over voter fraud. Um, that is the only concern I have. Same day registration, um, I, I certainly understand we've got to do everything we can to uh, get people interested in showing up to the polls. You know, we see vote turnout is just going down and down. I think that's probably more of just a problematic or systemic problem with Republicans and Democrats, independent, everybody just button heads all the time instead of worrying about rolling up your sleeves and actually governing. <laughs> it's always been a perpetual campaign. You need to have a mentality that you're going to go in there and tackle the problems, and I think that will actually help people want to maybe go out and vote. But um, I do have great concerns about voter fraud. Because of the state of the state right now, fiscal issues are very important. Um, what hurdle do you have to kind of get past to make voters think that you're the guy for that? Uh, well, my opponent, Assemblyman Marty Block, we, have, we both have voting records, and they're going to be able to, to look at those records and where we focused. Um, once again, he's not a reformer. I, I support pension reform. He hasn't supported pension reform. I support budget reform. Uh, I support a stable tax and regulatory environment to send a message. We want to create jobs. All right. Thank you, George Plesha. The general election is November 6th.